in order to subscribe to my channel please click here or click here please share comment and like my videos and channel hey guys welcome to service now four minute video for developers in this lesson we will talk about rest api inbound request security that means how exactly you can add security to your inbound request. That means if somebody will call your ServiceNow instance, how can you secure that? So the first way to secure your instance is user specifically for inbound request. So this is the first way. That means you will create some users that will be specifically for inbound requests that will be enabled for just integration and they will not be able to log in interactively the second way is restrict table from web service call so whatever tables you create you provide access to the consumers they can access those tables with the help of table api now if you don't want to enable that in that case you can disable web service call for that particular table or any table you want you don't want users to uh, call that particular table with the help of web services and the last one we have is cross origin resource sharing this is kind of a rules which control that which particular domain can access your rest api endpoints so for example you have a specific table api and you you don't you want a specific domain just to access that particular api rest should not be able to access it in that case you should be able to utilize this functionality that is course rules you have to write those rules so that you can put some restrictions for the usage of that particular API. Let's go to my personal developer instance. So starting with the user, when you have to enable a particular user just for inbound request. So in that case, I will, I will go to sys underscore user dot list and I will open this particular record this is the first record you can see we have this field where it says web service access only so in this case if I will check this box this particular user will be just enabled for web service access that means only for inbound request this user will not be like interactive user this user will not be able to log into service now so that's the first way to secure your inbound request the second way is to restrict the table so in that case maybe we can directly go to user table and I will go to user table because I will show you that configuration where exactly you can disable that if you will in you can open any table and in that table you will see this section called controls when you click this controls uh, okay application access uh, we have this section called application access and you will see this particular field here which says allow access to this table via web services that means consumers can utilize and and get some data from this particular table that means they can call this table with the help of api because this is enabled for web services but if you want to disable it you want to put some restrictions you can do that with the help of disabling this option that means you will uncheck this box and save the table record in that case user will uh, consumers will not be able to access this table with the help of api or web services then we have the third option and that is course rules and where do we have those course rules we have course rules if you type c o r s when you will type c o r s rules you will find under system web services in rest you will find course rules 
as I mentioned, you can define that which particular domain should, uh, should have that access to your REST API endpoints. So you can create it. For example, I will just try to create a sample record for you. Here I will mention maybe uh, X application table access and if I go here and I can type maybe table API I will select table API right here and then I can put the domain name then which domain can connect to this particular table API so in that case I will do maybe this just maybe test dot com just an example this is just an example so maybe https um i don't want to put any kind of maximum age you can see it's the number of seconds the pre-flight request will be cached by the browser in that case if you want to use this you can mention it now what kind of method you want to allow now that's the i would say that's the important decision you have to make that when this domain will try to access your system with the help of API what kind of methods you want to allow so maybe you just want to restrict to get you don't want this particular domain to create anything in that case you can just select get keep it get that's it uh, here we have um, exposed headers like any kind of headers you wanted to expose that's something you can mention over here and and then we have like you can see we have max age as well it's just like uh, uh, like when initial course request uh, happens like the like first time if somebody is requesting then till till what time you don't uh, you don't require uh, any kind of pre-flight message that's something you can mention over here that's so default value is zero that means all requests will require a pre-flight message so that's how you can create course rules now these are the three different ways where you can secure your inbound request for your rest apis thanks for watching my video if you have any questions please put in the comments thank you